Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj welcoming you for one more session in AMINS. In this session, we shall see some important reasoning of questions on the basicity of AMINS. Okay? Let us see the first question students. Why AMINS are basic like ammonia? We all know that ammonia is basic. But amines are also basic like ammonia. What's the reason? Okay. See here I have given the structure. See this is ammonia. Okay. This is ammonia. This is ammonia. And this is primary amine. Okay. And this is secondary amine. And this is the structure of tertiary amine. Okay. See here in ammonia we are having three hydrogen atoms and a lone pair of electrons. Okay. And in primary amine, one of the hydrogen atoms is replaced by an alkyl group. And we have a, a what to say, lone pair of electrons. And in secondary amine, two hydrogen atoms are replaced by two alkyl groups. Okay. And in tertiary amines, three alkyl groups are there and lone pair of electrons are there. Okay. See here, the basic nature of ammonia as well as these amines are mainly due to the presence of the unshared pair of electrons. That is the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. Understood? This lone pair of electron is available for the formation of a new bond with a proton or a Lewis acid. Understood? Moreover, these amines of weak bases as they combine partially with this water to form a hydroxyl, hydroxyl group. Okay? See, this is a primary amine. Okay? RNH2. RNH2. When this combines with water, what happens is this water, it gets split up to H plus and OH minus. Okay. So this H plus will combine with this NH2 and it forms RNH3 plus. Okay. And this is called as alkyl ammonium ion. Okay. And this is called as alkyl ammonium ion and an OH minus ion is released. Okay. So now when you are applying this law of mass action for this equation, we get KB is equal to See, according to law of mass action, product divided by reactant. Concentration of the product divided by the concentration of the reactant. Is it not? So, concentration of alkyl ammonium ion and concentration of OH- divided by RNH2. See, here we are not taking water into consideration. We are ignoring since because it is in large amount. Understood? See, here this KB describes the relative strength of the basis which is the measure of the extent to which an amine can accept a proton from water. Understood? Actually, this KB is otherwise called as dissociation constant or basicity constant. Understood? See, when this KB value is higher, then the basis will be strong base. Okay? If KB, if KB is higher, then it will be a strong base. Okay? The base will be a strong base. Understood? And if this KB value is lower, then the uh, base will be a, a, what to say, weak base. Understood? It will be a weak base, right? See, there is another one convenient method of expressing this basicity or the basic strength of this amine. That is in terms of pKb value. pKb value. Okay. What is pKb value? See, this pKb value is nothing but it is the negative logarithm of Kb value. Okay. Negative logarithm of this Kb. Okay. So, if this uh, Kb value is higher, obviously pKb value will be lower. If Kb value is lo lower, this pKb value will be higher. Okay. So, smaller the value of pKb, larger will be Kb so that more will be the basic strength. Understood? So now, I hope you might have understood about this Kb and pKb. What is Kb? It is the dissociation constant or the basicity constant. Understood? Students? Read the next question, students. Why aliphatic amines are stronger bases than ammonia? The aliphatic amines are stronger bases than ammonia. Why? So, this is the question, right? See here, this can be explained in terms of electron releasing inductive effect. That is plus I effect, okay? Plus I effect, okay? By using this effect, it is possible to explain this question, okay? Uh, and this plus effect, I effect is seen in the alkyl groups, okay, or alkyl groups. Normally, these alkyl groups are electron releasing groups, okay. See here, in the case of ammonia, this is ammonia, right? So, this is ammonia, this is ammonia, this is primary amine, this is secondary amine, and this is tertiary amine, okay. See here, in the case of ammonia, this nitrogen is attached to three hydrogen atoms. 
and there will be no effect of this okay and it is having two lone pair of electrons and it can be can easily donate the electrons and it can act as a base this ammonia see here in the case of primary amine instead of one hydrogen atom we are having one alkyl group so as i told you earlier this alkyl group will be having the plus i effect that means it has the capacity to release electrons since it is releasing electron since this alkyl group is releasing electrons this nitrogen will be having more electrons and since this nitrogen having more electrons the lone pair of electrons already present in the nitrogen can be easily donated understood so because of this reason this aliphatic primary amine will be a, a stronger base when compared to ammonia now check the secondary amine see here in secondary amine we are having two alkyl groups okay so if in this case this alkyl group will also be releasing electron and this alkyl group will also be releasing electron to this nitrogen so automatically this nitrogen will be having more amount of electrons and compared to primary amine so automatically this nitrogen will be losing or it will be donating easily its lone pair of electrons when compared to the primary amine understood now check the third one see here in tertiary amine we are having three alkyl groups so all these three alkyl groups will be having plus effect pi plus i effect when more when compared to this secondary amine uh, primary amine or the ammonia okay so more amount of electrons will be there so automatically the nitrogen will be more effectively donating electrons okay for the bond formation understood so when you are comparing these uh, ammonia with the primary secondary and tertiary amine which will be having a more basicity this tertiary amine okay that also in the gaseous space okay so tertiary amine will be more basic when compared to the secondary amine and this will be more basic when compared to primary amine and this will be more uh, oh, yes this will be more uh, uh, basic when compared to primary amine and this will be more basic when compared to ammonia understood students see the next question very important question aromatic amines are lesser basic than ammonia why okay aromatic amines are lesser basic than ammonia why see here there are two reasons for this the first reason is the first reason is the uh, due my due to minus i effect of of this phenyl group c6h5 okay and the second is mainly due to the resonance effect okay resonance of word understood so i'm going to explain these two factors uh, uh, with, with with this uh, structures okay so what is minus i effect of phenyl ring see here minus i effect means the i effect is nothing but it is electron something related with the electron donating okay minus i effect means electron withdrawing effect electron withdrawing plus i effect means electron donating minus i effect means electron withdrawing see this phenyl group see i have taken example of aniline this is an aromatic amine is it not see this phenyl group it is having a, a capacity to withdraw electrons okay so what happens is this uh, this results in the lower since this uh, phenyl group is withdrawing electrons from this aniline this nitrogen there will be lower availability of electrons on the nitrogen for protonation because this will be taken up by this phenyl ring okay so that is one of the reason why this aromatic amines are lesser basic than ammonia okay in ammonia that's not the case okay it can easily donate the electrons because this nitrogen is uh, uh, in ammonia in the case of ammonia it is uh, connected with only three hydrogen atoms okay so there will be no in, in fact this electrons can be easily donated and the student case of ammonia but here this uh, mother is minus i effect in phenyl ring and the next one is resonance okay see in aniline or in ar other aromatic amines the non bonding electrons present uh, on the nitrogen is delocalized into this benzene ring see here this electrons are moving here so in order to compensate this the electrons uh, it present here will be moving to this place so what happens here there is the electrons this electron pair of electrons are coming here okay and again there will be delocalization of these electrons what we delocalization movement of electrons from one place to another shifting of electrons okay so due to this delocalization there will be resonance resonance and the electron donating capacity because there will be resonance will be there so these are all the resonating structures okay and because of this there will be non availability of electrons for protonation okay on nitrogen there will be the lone pair of electrons will not be there on the nitrogen okay for donation so automatically there will be uh, considerably there will be decrease 
in basicity okay so because of this reason this aromatic amines are lesser basic when compared to ammonia in ammonia there is no resonance structure and there is no minus i effect okay it can easily donate electrons but here there is minus effect i effect due to phenyl group and also there is resonating structures because the electrons are moving from one place to another there they are delocalizing so there will be non availability of electrons for donation understood so these are the reasons see next important question is why acetamide does not show basic character but ethylamine shows okay so i have given the structure of acetamide here let me show ethylamine ethylamine is nothing but it is c2 h5 nh2 is it not nh2 okay see here this ethylamine what what's the question is acetamide should will not show basic character whereas this ethylamine shows see here this ethylamine in the case of ethylamine this ethyl will group is an electron releasing group okay so it can release electrons to this nitrogen already there will be lone pair of electrons here in the nitrogen so what happens since it this ethyl group is releasing electrons here this nitrogen will be having more number of electrons and this electrons can be easily released okay so automatically basicity will be more in the case of ethylamine whereas in the case of acetamide see here what happens in acetamide acetamide should not will not be showing the basic character though it is having an amino group this is because the lone pair of electrons present on the nitrogen is delocalizing see here this moves here and it forms and it uh, undergoes resonating resonance with the carbonyl oxygen okay with the carbonyl group see here this lone pair of electron is jumping here because of this this is shifting here so there will be resonating structures okay since because resonance is here this there will be a uh, non availability of this lone pair of electrons on nitrogen see here the next structure there is no electrons here for the protonation to take place okay that's why this acetamide is not showing a basic character when compared to ethylamine understood students well fine students you might have understood all the reasoning of questions on basicity of amines i shall meet you with another important topic in a short period until then it's dr anita raj signing off from you thanks for watching